Um, Abu from London asks, how do you intend to get young people back to work? Can I first say, I think this is a great idea and really good to be able to answer people's questions directly. Really important, youth unemployment is going up again. First of all, we want to help people faster and give more help to more people than the current government is doing, than Labour is doing. Every young person who's been unemployed for six months would be referred to a welfare-to-work provider, some specialist organisation who would give them real, personalised help, tailored help to get into work. But we'd also create, over two years, 400,000 more apprenticeships, college places, training opportunities, which would give the uh, young people the opportunity perhaps to get uh, the skills that they might need, but they'd work with the welfare-to-work provider to ensure that they get the help that they really need. Our second question, Jeff from Blackpool asks, how can you stop the influx of foreign workers that are taking jobs away from UK citizens? Well, the first thing I'd say to Jeff is that actually we need to ensure that people in the UK have got the skills that enables them to take the jobs that are on offer. Hence, under our work programme, which would be giving really personalised help to people to, to get the skills, to overcome the barriers to get into work, that would help people to get into work here in the UK. But we would have a, a cap, an annual limit, on the number of non-EU migrant workers, com migrants coming into the UK. Um, we think it's important to have that. We still will need some people to come in with very specific skills for the need of the economy, but we think it's important to have that annual limit. How do you intend to get young people back to work? I think this is really important because young people have been most heavily affected by the global recession and although unemployment overall is about half a million lower than we all expected this time last year, you know, because of all the support that we've put in, all the help to get people back to work, it is still quite tough for a lot of young people. And so what we've been doing is uh, providing extra support through things like the Future Jobs Fund. That's providing over 150,000 uh, really good, interesting jobs for young people who've been out of work maybe six months or more. It is something that sadly the Conservatives have said they'll axe, but we think it's really important. And to do that as part of guaranteeing every young person who's out of work for more than six months either a job, training, work placement, a proper guarantee of work and support so that we never again have the kind of lost generation that I think we had in the 80s and 90s and I don't think was fair on uh, young people but also on the whole economy as well. How do you intend to get young people back to work? I think one of the barriers young people face is their lack of experience. They go for a job and they say, oh, we want someone with experience. And they say, how do I get experience without having a job? And one of the ways we think you can break through this is through the use of paid internships. And often internships can be the privilege of the well-off. You know, if mummy and daddy can support you, then you can work for nothing for someone, then you get experience, then you get an advantage in the job market. And we want to open up what's a good thing, internships, but to a much broader group of people. So we're proposing that young people who've been unemployed for three months or more should be able to have paid internships, just paid a bit more than benefit, not a king's ransom, but enough to live on, to give them that period of experience. And we want to do that in the first year of a new parliament, while the recession's still deep, while the economy's still fragile, to help perhaps a generation of young people to have contact with the labour market. The other thing we want to do is help young people really from day one. Too many government schemes come in after 10 months or 12 months or two years and it's an awful long time when you're 17 or 18. I mean, it's bad enough when you're 50 or 60. And what we're saying is on day one, actually, you can spot the young people who are going to struggle to find a job. And we want to identify their needs on day one and try and give them tailored support. Some young people will find a job easily, but those who won't, help them early, don't let them struggle for a few years and then try and pick them up later.